And welcome back, YouTube. This is Booster Box Buster here with another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at something completely different, and that is the Julie Bell Fantasy Art Trading Card Collection Booster Box. Now, Julie Bell, for those who don't know, is an American artist who does a lot of, uh, nature paintings, along with fantasy, uh, heavy metal-inspired paintings as well. As you can tell, that looks straight at home on something you'd see in, like, a heavy metal-style album. As does this. Honestly, we're almost getting into, like, D&D-style art now. That's awesome. And right here as well. Just really cool imaginary art, and then we have what appears to be some sort of mermaid-esque character on the top. And I'm just really excited, because I, I have really not much information on this set, so I'm really excited to see what it contains. Now I will say right here, before we get started, that on every single side of this box, this warning is contained that says, Contains Mature Subject Matter. So... I don't know exactly what that means, I just don't know if it's scantily clad characters, or if we're going to have some, um, you know, all natural type things going on. So, as of right now, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to upload this. Uh, we'll have to find out as we open. I don't know how large this set is, and I don't know. Uh, all I know is we get seven cards per pack, it contains mature subject matter, and it contains randomly packed tech chrome and autographed cards. That's really all I know about this set. I've seen it for a great price online, and I was like, uh, oh, I'll give it a try, see, see what type of cards it contains. And I found uh, something of interest on the back here. Uh, no purchase necessary for a chance to win an autographed Julie Bell card. Send a 3x5 postcard with your name, complete address, and zip code to that address. Uh, all entries must be received by September 1st, 1994. <laughs> this is an old, old box. Odds of pulling, a, I'm guessing, an autograph card out of a random pack is 1 in 576. So with 36 packs, our odds, our odds aren't too good to pull out autograph, but you never know. Uh, autograph cards are fun to collect, but are in indeterminated value and are subjected to change by market conditions. Uh, I remember when they had to do that with the... Uh, because I know Magic the Gathering got in trouble with that, so they actually had to say, hey, we have nothing to do with the secondary market, so whatever the value is, that's what it is. We don't determine it, the players determine it. Alright. But yeah, so this is an old, old box. This is over, as of the filming of this video, we're looking at over 25 years old. Or just at 25 years, yeah. Yeah, about 25 years old, which is, am I mean, that's amazing. And it, for the price I got it for, I mean, I'm kind of, I was honestly kind of shocked by how cheap this was going for, for something that was, uh, that old. All right. So this is what the pack looks like. Look for randomly packed Tech Chrome and Julie Bell autograph cards. Uh, they even have the warning on the side, contains mature subject matter. Once again, I don't know what that means, if it's just scantily clad characters, all natural characters, if it's talking about, like, violent scenes, I, I don't know until I open this. So, like I said, this might not even make it to the U of Tube if uh, things get a little bit too out of hand. Okay, 
So right here, we got collect all 55 cards in the collection and keep them in mint condition <laughs> by purchasing your very own Julie Bell collection album. It's only $12.99, including postage and handling, and it contains seven nine-card collecting sheets. Order now by sending a 3x5 card with your name and address to that address. I, I kind of wish I told you how what the uh, odds were for pulling a Techrome card. So with 36 packs and 55 cards, this is a... Uh, it won't take, it shouldn't take too many packs to complete the collection. Alright, so we're going to open it up and see what we get. Boy, these packs are pretty, still pretty good for their age. Oh, ooh, that looks uh, a bit damaged. That looks like a cow, we, uh, we got the Green Lantern. Looks like uh, almost Lionel from the Lion Cats. That's kind of cool. We got the Mad Wizard in the background. Ooh, these are definitely stuck together. Let's see what the information on this one is. That is the Invinci... Oh, boy. Good luck with this. The Invincible Team. Background in dance and gymnastic, Julie. Oh, and it kind of tells you uh, information about the card and a little bit about Julie Bell herself. That's kind of cool. I like that. So that's the Invincible Team. Very cool. Looks like we got a barbarian fending off a skeleton, uh, the Minotaur skeleton, and a some sort of bird. That's kind of cool. Giant bird. That is the Savage Land. Oh, there's the mermaid from the bot from the top of the booster box. That's kind of cool. I was hoping to get that. Oh, it's a goldfish. Okay, I thought it was a mermaid. Interesting. Hmm. Not quite sure what's going on in that one. Looks like he's on a... At first I thought it was a lion, but maybe it's a statue, or some sort of giant uh, tree root. And are, are they fighting, or is he saving her? I'm not quite sure what's going on in that one. Interesting. That's the Tenacious Artechno? Tainted Claw. Tainted Claws. Okay. Kind of cool. Ooh, that's... That's like a really nice sketch there. I like that. Now we got two cards here. This is to fly again. Oh, that looks like a Conan the Barbarian uh, cover art if I've ever seen that. That's pretty cool. I like that. 
That's the dangerous journey. Interesting. Pretty cool image of... That appears to be a mermaid. Or maybe a uh, siren of some sort. Very cool. I love the uh, lightning effect in the background. These cards are stuck together. Ooh! That is ecstasy. I can understand that by the look of the card. I can definitely understand that. Ecstasy. And that is one cool card. Is this a is this one of the tech chrome cards? It's definitely thicker than the rest. This is the champions of the city, according to Julie. That's kind of cool. Look at that. That that just looks really cool. I like that. Definitely has that like classic 80s like cartoon, you know, you got the heroes in the front and the villain in the back, kind of kind of throwback. I like that a lot. So that was our first pack. I'm not going to open all these. I'll probably open maybe about 10, 20 of them and then see how things go from there. And then if people would like to see the rest of it, I'll open up the rest of the box or else I'll probably just call it a video. Ooh, that's like a pterodactyl. Okay, yeah, it's just like a cool pterodactyl kind of flying over the land. That's kind of cool. That is the... That's prehistoric metal. Cool. Oh, that's classic. That's the futuristic robot versus man. I like that a lot. Can't believe there's only 55 different variants. <sighs> Damage the card. Just trying to get them unstuck, man. There we go. Night. Night of the Killer Max. That's cool. That's just classic, classic 80s and 90s artwork there. I love it. Something straight out of D&D. &D. Got the wizard with the lightning. The barbarian with the sword ready to slay the wizard. Very cool. Come on. Damaging these cards, it's annoying. That's Demon in the Palace. That's definitely a demon if I've ever seen one. What is that? Okay, <clears throat> I think it's a giant elephant, uh, like, demon versus this barbarian. That's kind of cool. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. That's evil. Oh, the evil idol. Very cool. Oh, that's like a... Definitely a demon. And I don't know if that's... Like a sacrifice for the demon. Or if... 
that's his wife or lover. I'm not 100% sure. Looks like he's going to eat, try to eat her, though. Take that whatever way you want to. That is the sorcerer's follower. Oh, okay, so it's so she's like the evil sorcerer, and that's like a demon she conjured. That's kind of cool. Another... It looks to be very similar to the, uh, the Tainted Claw from before. Just in a different uh, pose of it. Oh, Tainted Claws again. Okay, it's just a different pose. Interesting. If, if there's multiple variants to the same artwork, that'd be kind of cool. Ooh. That is... Maybe like a wild speaker? One with nature? That's kind of cool. Ah. That is Robo Robo Bird. That's a robot bird? Oh I guess it is. I didn't realize that. Actually it almost looks like a familiar or maybe like a small dragon. That's actually really cool now. Robo Bird. We got ourselves another apple I'm guessing this is a technochrome. Some sort of demon like character. Oh, a robo vampire. Okay. Very realistic uh, human vampire. So robo vampire. I, I I'd be very interested to see a robo vampire. I'm not gonna lie. So that is the robo vampire. On to the next pack. It's kind of fun. I wish the cards didn't stick together like glue, because some of the cards, unfortunately, are, it damages some of the cards when I try to open them, so that's kind of unfortunate. Looks like we got some uh, female barbarians enjoying the spoils of their victory. That's kind of cool. Really nice artwork. What is that? That is some sort of like metallic or metal demon horse attacking this poor barbarian who's Probably has no chance at killing this thing. Mark one up for the horse. He wins. That is the Enchanted Charge. Sounds like a Magic the Gathering spell, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda cool. We get a Centaur. Being attacked by a wolf. Interesting. Uh, Creatures of the Woods is the name of that one. Kind of cool. A sea monster. And this character right here is ready to spear them right in the face. Very nice. Uh, that is... Oh, to become a man. Okay, so basically he's uh, trying to prove his manhood by killing this sea monster that's popping out of the sea. And if he doesn't kill it, he'll... he doesn't have to worry about becoming a man because he is going to be lunch. 
<laughs> you have a very cool image of this lady riding a mechanical shark. That's cool. Almost wonder if that's uh, Mako Tsunami's mom. That'd be kind of cool. Yes, I'm throwing in the Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. Beauty... Oh, Beauty and the Steel Beast. Okay, okay, I got you. Almost reminds of Al uh, Alexander the Great type of uh, image that you'd see. Very cool. That is a battle cry. Very nice. Oh, there's the Robo Vampire. So it looks like each pack comes with one of these tech tech chrome cards that will have a take a random card from the set and make it tech chrome, so that's kinda cool. The last card is always the tech chrome. What happened? That sucks. Don't know what happened to the edge of that card. Look at that. It's like these cards are almost glued together. It's unfortunate because that's a beautiful tech chrome card there too. One we haven't even gotten normal. It's this lady enticed in a dragon. Or a dragon enticed around a lady. Very... Nice. That's the Golden Lover. Very cool. Oh, okay. And it looks like, uh... Oh, so on the Tech Chrome cards you actually get different information on the back. Like, this one actually tells you direct quote, quotes from Julie Bell. And this one tells you a little bit more about just... Kind of random facts and maybe a little bit about the drawing. That's kind of cool. So for anybody interested in buying some of these, or buying a box yourself, now you kind of know some of the differences. So it looks like each pack will come with a tech chrome card, and each pack will... ...come with six additional cards. Oh, that's cool. You got a warrior and a female warrior battling on this giant dragon's back. That's straight out of metal there. That's cool. That looks like a D&D monster if I've ever seen one. And you got this uh, battle axe wielding character just ready to chop him straight in half. Or he's going to be lunch. That is the haunting house. Oh, I think I forgot to check the back of that one. That one was the, uh, the saber-toothed, the saber-toothed snake. Interesting. And the haunted house. Oh, that's awesome. That's metal 100% of the way. The tiger breathing fire on this female warrior with uh, some sort of like mecha mechanized uh, like robot on its back. <laughs> that is amazing. That, oh, it's simply titled Fireballs. I thought it'd have a little bit more ep epic name. I guess everything can't have an epic name, or else they all would be not epic. Almost seems like something out of, you'd see it like in God of War or Sparta or something, you know, like the Roman warrior versus the barbarian or the person rising up. Very cool. <laughs> you got Stonehenge, or not Stonehenge, um, yeah, isn't it Stonehenge? No. That, that, uh, circle of stones behind him. Very cool. And 
Yeah, okay, I was right. It is. Battle at Stonehenge. Okay. No, I was thinking of the Easter Island rocks. For the Moai stones. Yeah. Don't know why I was thinking of that. Yeah, so I was right. Stonehenge. Very cool. So you got this either alien or robo lady looking at herself in a mirror she created. Like a riff in time. That's kind of interesting. Or maybe that's a parallel dimension. I honestly don't know. Kind of cool. Yeah, okay, it's looking. Very cool. Very simple. Oh, we got that mechanical beast again. Enchanted charge. Ooh, that's another one from the box. This like half bird, half man versus this our, our warrior type character. Oh, that's actually actually has the checklist on the back of this. That's kind of cool. Of course, it's just checklist part one. You don't get the whole checklist on here. And hey, we got another uh, looking. But this is the Technochrome, and I gotta say, that looks fantastic in the Technochrome. Next pack. And if you're wondering why I put the, these two aside, it's because that has the really damaged edge, and I don't want to possibly put those in the collection yet, just because of that. I'd, actually, if I could get part two of the checklist, that'd be really nice. We got the saber tooth snake. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, Sabertooth Snake. Honestly, surprised they haven't made that yet. And we just gave him an idea. There you go, sci-fi, Sabertooth Snake. The Fireball. Love that image. Looking again. Ooh. We got ourselves a warrior lady with some sort of mechanical wolf. I like that a lot. Or a lion. Not quite sure which one. Uh, Cat's pet. Okay, so her name is Cat and she has a pet. Very cool. That is a muscle builder lady. That looks quite out of place from the rest of the cards. I'm not going to lie. That looks a lot more realistic. Oh, Julie Bell, okay, so Julie Bell decided to draw herself. Very nice. A harpy. Like a mechanical type harpy, or maybe a gargoyle. Oh, okay, it's child's play. I... I thought it was like some sort of harpy. That's nice. We got ourselves a unicorn and a waterfall. With a lady just kind of petting its horn. I wonder if it gets aroused when you pet the unicorn's horn. That is first touch. Okay. Very interesting. And here we have the young wizard. 
Very cool. I like that. On to the next pack. Let me know what you think of this set, if, if it's something that you like, or if it's something that you don't care for too much. Oh, there's a young wizard at non-foil. This one would be really cool to get foil. The Sabertooth Serpent. Haunted House. Fire, that'd be another really cool one to get foil. This pack's actually working nice for me. Battle at Stonehenge. It's holy ground, you know. Technically, you're not supposed to fight there. Well, if they're outside of it, it's fine. If they're Once they enter inside of it, Supposed to not be able to fight. Looking. Very beautiful card. I, I think I forgot to check the name of this one, didn't I? Oh, that was a checklist. I forgot. So this one doesn't actually have a name. And this actually looks kind of cool. It almost looks like Sakura from Street Fighter. And this uh, metal demon is either stealing her money or demanding payment of some sort. That is the Marble Master. Okay, looks like maybe he's trying to collect marble. Are They're playing a game of marbles, aren't they? Okay, they are. I completely forgot that, <laughs> that marbles was a thing. <laughs> I never played marbles, though, so... Well, wasn't for me. That was... That was... A little bit before my time, so not to age me or anything. Actually, quite a ways before my time, now that I think about it. All I know is I never played marbles. But I know the game existed, and it's something that older people played. The Mechanical, the Night of the Machines Attack, I think. Very cool. Night of the Killer Machines. So that sounds like a classic horror movie as well. The Conan Pose. Love that. Ooh, that's a new one. That's some sort of... Like, scientist... Actually... Creating something? I mean, I, I'm gonna guess that this one's called, like, The Creator. Uh, Doctor's Flash. Okay, I was wrong. So we got a Doctor Flashing. Not that way, but Doctor Flashing. Very cool. Got another Battle at Stonehenge. Ooh. That looks like a classic... That looks like the villain from the, uh... Uh... Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And then you got a whole bunch of swamp monsters. Is that supposed to be a... Uh, uh, oh, what is it? Not the creature from the swamp, but... Uh, Grindel? Is that supposed to be Grindel? That's kind of cool. Nightmare Swamp. Okay. So I wasn't too far off with creature from the swamp. Prehistoric Metal. We got the uh, demon in that building, and another technochrome looking. Honestly, this one's not bad to have a double of. I haven't got this one in a regular yet, so that'd be kind of nice to get that one. And I'd like to get the second part of the checklist, too. That'd be kind of nice. Ooh. 
If these sketch cards come in the Technofoil, that would be fantastic. This one in the Technofoil would be a lovely. That's the uh, prophetic. That's the pro the prophet bird. I'm gonna call it the prophet bird. Very nice. Uh, the the lad trying to slay the sea monster, or become the sea monster's lunch. Looks like uh, there's a battle between the mermaids there. Battle of the... Battle of the Mer? Okay, Mer, mermaids, I guess. Okay, I guess that makes sense. First touch, that would be kind of cool to get... Uh, technochrome. Techchrome, not technochrome. Alexander riding off into the battle. That's what I think of it anyway. Battle's Cry. The team. The incredible team. Cat's pet. And a technochrome of the Doctor's Flash. Very cool. Probably open a few more than call it a video. Hopefully we can get the second part of the checklist by then. Uh, another Doctor's Flash? That's lame. The, the Feast? I never actually looked at the back of that one, sorry about that. That one. The centaur. That one would be really cool to have technochrome, I'm not gonna lie. Tech chrome. Why am I keeping calling the technochrome? Alexander. The Robo Vampire. Still kind of intrigued how you make a robot vampire. And Doctor's Flash again. I'm gonna try to keep with the uh, Hollow card is away. That would be a fantastic hollow card, I'm not gonna lie. I would love that hollow. Marble Madness. Become a man or die, essentially is what that one's saying. <laughs> The Mermaids, Battle of the Mermaids. That would be really cool, Technochrome. The Iron Horse, or the Enchanted Horse, right? The Enchanted Charge. First Touch. Alexander the Great, a lot of duplicates here. And, ooh, we got that one again. What I like to call the uh, comic book cover. Or the classic 80s cartoon uh, thing that you'd see in the intro. I haven't got that one in regular form yet either. I wonder if some of them are only hollow. That'd be uh, interesting to know. Ooh, that's a new one. Looks like we got a cowgirl trying to motivate her mechanical steed. Space cowgirl, nice. 
Got some competition for Faye Valentine. That looks like a genie. Like an evil genie. More like a djinn. Because usually the djinns are uh, evil. Oh, but it's a rescue though. So let's... What? Don't quite understand how that's a rescue. Not two cards together. Okay, that one's a bit hard to understand. We got some muscle. Almost reminds me of Jax from uh, Mortal Kombat. Daryl and the iguana. Interesting. Daryl has an iguana. Riding the shark. The mechanical bird. The enchantress. Or no. The sorceress and her pet, I think. Hey, that's a little bit out of place. That's a wrestling match. Oh, another Doctor's Flash. Wrestlers, okay. Just straight up wrestlers. A third Doctor's Flash. Interesting. That card is a bit damaged, unfortunately. Probably open up just a couple more. Call it a box. Or call it a video. I do plan to open up the rest of this, but I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing the second half of this or not, or if you just want to see the new polls that I get in like a separate, like, aftermath video. Because I could probably do it either way. Hey, we got, this one would be fantastic to get in Technochrome, I'm not going to lie. Tech Chrome, if I can call it the right thing. The escape, or the rescue. Daryl and his iguana. Riding the shark. This is like the exact same pack, card for card. Mechanical bird. Two cards there. Yep. Sorcerer's follower. The wrestlers. If this is another Doctor's Flash. Ooh, yeah, we got one that isn't damaged. Nice. The Golden Lover. Very happy to have that not damaged. Hey, we got another young wizard. There's two cards there, isn't there? Yes, there is. That's a haunted house. Ooh, we got the uh, s saber tooth. Serpent, the haunted house. Maybe there's only so many techno cards. Maybe not all of them are have techno cards for them. That'd be kind of sad. Because some of these would look fantastic in techno chrome. Fireball, like this one. Fireball would look fantastic in techno chrome. Battle at Stonehenge. Looking. The checklist card. Ooh! That is a beautiful one to have in Technochrome. The goldfish. I love it. Awesome. 
That one was worth it. I'd like to get the second half of that checklist. I have no idea what card that would be on. Been a while since we got that one. That is the, uh, that's the To Fly Again card. Very cool. Goldfish. Very nice. Daryl and his iguana. That's a new one. That, uh... That, uh... uh his uh, choice of uh, garments is a bit uh, interesting. That is the Wind Rider. Interesting. The Lady Riding the Shark. The Incredible Team. Hey, we got a non hollow version of this card. Very cool. And hey, a Daryl and his Iguana. Very cool. For a Technochrome. Tech Chrome. Ah! Never gonna say it right. Okay, I just had to make sure that that one wasn't a. Oh man, if the second part of the checklist is on the back of a Technochrome card, I'm not going to be happy. I'd just be mean. Hey, it's been a while since we got one of those. That's the Evil Idol. The Wind Rider with his uh, very interesting choice of uh, clothing. The Enticed Dragon. That looks different. That's, that's a preliminary sketch. I didn't know that those existed. I wonder if those cards are... Uh, eat, car, uh, count as part of the set, or if that's not part of the set. That's kind of cool. That looks like an 80s action movie all the way. You know, that could be played by Arnold. That'd be the person that he's knocking down. That'd be the, another guy that he'd eventually uh, mow down. That That's 80s action movies... In a nutshell. Love it. That is a new one, too. That is the War Hero. Another Conan the Barbarian style art. Cave of Darkness. Hey, we got that non hollow. Very cool. Champions of the City, non hollow, very cool. And of course, we got a second uh, Goldfish Hollow, very cool. Alright, I think two more packs and then I'm probably done with this video. I think we've seen the ma a good majority of the cards that you'll probably end up getting if you were to get this yourself. Although I would love to see what card the second half of the checklist is on. That'd be very nice. And maybe we can get another sketch card, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, we got Ecstasy right away. Very nice. Don't have too many of those. Oh, another one of these sketch cards. Very cool. 
the goldfish. Daryl and his iguana. You gotta love that card. Wind Rider. I don't like that card so much. Uh, riding the Mechanical Shark. The Incredible Team. And another Looking. Alright, I think this is going to be the final pack that I open for the video. And you guys will have to let me know if you want to see more of this or not. Or if you would just rather see the new pulls that I get in like a Aftermath video. Please let me know in the comments which one you'd rather see. We got another sketch. Very beautiful. Did I ever look at the back of this card? Yes, that's the Prophet Bird. Okay. Marble Madness. Become a man or become lunch. Battle of the Mermaids. This card in its non-sketch form. First touch. Alexander the Great. And Marble Madness Hollow. Alright, you know what? I can't leave it. I'm going to do one more. The Young Wizard, the Sabretooth Serpent, the Haunted House, Fireball, love that card, really wish I had a Technochrome, uh, Battle at Stonehenge, Looking. Oh, checklist part one. And Daryl and his iguana yet again. All right. I think that that is enough of this box for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know. Like I said, if you want to see the second half of this box unboxed, let me know. If not, I'll just do a video sharing the new polls that I get. And hopefully I could share the second half of the checklist too if I were to pull that. With all that said, this is in Booster Max Buster opening up part of a Julie Bell Fantasy Art Trading Card Collection. Possibly part one. If not, like I said, we'll do a Aftermath. Signing out.